What is up guys, Technicals here. It's time for the weekly mining switch up where I take a look at the state of the market, the state of my equipment, and decide what to switch my mining equipment to. If you're not already, subscribe to the channel so you can follow along in this process and maybe you can extract something from it. Additionally, I'll be picking a winner for this week's mining stand giveaway, giveaway one of these. If you wanna buy one, link below into my Etsy shop, you can pick one out. If you wanna win next week, details on how to do so are somewhere in the video. I'm the Technicals, let's get into it. Before that, this video brought to you by me via my Etsy shop. Link in the description below. Check out one of my custom designed 3D printed test bench slash CPU mining stands. All snap together design, very sturdy, hides the power supply, very easy to assemble. Version 2.0 classic stand now featuring a screw in design that holds the motherboard down. Also introducing the Solo, Dual, and MATX classic stands. So if you want to support the channel and my bad habits, pick up one of these overpriced stands via the link in the description below. And again, if you're not already, subscribe to the channel so you can follow along in this process and watch me shit talk coins for approximately eight to 10 minutes and you while you kind of wait around for me to tell you what to do to win a mining stand because I know that's why you're all here. I'm not stupid. So taking a look, had big problems in the farm this week. Um, narrowing down the gremlin in my network. I'm not a huge networking guy. I did two years of CCNA back in 2004. Uh, but things have changed since then. <laughs> I'm not exactly, uh, I'm much more the physical layer guy. I'm not in the software and configuration. So I think I got it narrowed down, but you'll notice if you're a, a, a hardcore fan that I am rolling light here. Um, two CPU miners are gone. Two 7900Xs because I got one on salad and I got the other one primed up and ready to jump in bed and start pounding away on vast.ai. So we're going to be looking forward to uh, the continuation of the AI saga, earning with AI or distributed compute render jobs, things like that. But otherwise, nice hash on the GPUs for the past week and ASICs doing what ASICs do. Move the 5900 back over to RandomX on nice hash just because it was causing problems as well. Uh, luckily, the motherboard was not bricked. Some people asking how I bricked the motherboard on the 5900X, and it was Dr. Pepper. That's what I'm going to say anyway. So taking a look at miningfullstats.stream. We're looking for a uh, yield plays. Is that what we normally do during this video? Let's take a look and see because uh, Cubic not looking great. Taking a look, Cubic was n has not been doing too great. Oh, I got two solutions. Oh, wow. Uh, you know, with two CP, two 7950X 3Ds on there, I figured like maybe I'd get something. Um, I'm assuming the per solution is gonna be about the same, about $8. So if that holds, then uh, that's worth, you know, 16 bucks and we've got another three days left. So. Maybe, but uh, yeah, it, it, it does really make a lot of sense just having a small amount of power on Cubic. Plus, Cubic's price is in the absolute shitter. It's like five zeros and a three something. It's not good. Uh, take a look at miningpoolstats.stream. I'm not entirely, I'm not antsy to jump on a yield play because yield plays you got to pay attention to, and I hate paying attention to things. Uh, so we'll take a look. I know a lot of people still on Zealous, a lot of people hounding me over Zealous, but I think the uh the saving graces and vast ai and uh stuff like that lithium what's going on here 35 percent down on hash 22 percent up in price um but that's uh that drop in hash is kind of recent so did the fpgas fall off i haven't been paying attention if you know of what's happening with lithium let me know in the comments below but obviously it doesn't make sense to mine that unless you have an lithium asic um Probably doesn't even make sense on FPGAs anymore. I'm, I'm not too certain on that. Help the homeless coin. Why would I want to do that? Let's check out the calculator websites and see what, uh, what makes sense. 40, 70, that's what I got. Dual mine stuff again. Um, gram, maybe. At best case, dual mine times six, I'd be ripping like four bucks a day versus doing gram at three bucks. So which has more headroom? Which has more of a ceiling? Now I'm not exactly sure how gram ties into telegram. It'd probably be beneficial if I actually looked into these coins, but you know, um, I'm gonna go based on that. I'm gonna go gram this week on GPUs. And then on my CPUs, God, that's really a dice roll. I, you know, with cubic, going down in price so bad, I can't help but think a lot of people are pulling off uh, and, and just calling it quits. And so the alternative 
is, since I only have the three CPU miners currently, um, uh, you know, if going on to Zephyr or Monero or something like that, I'm just, I'm thinking maybe hammer down on Cubic uh, and just capture that, build the bag, and maybe, maybe we get back to somewhere. All right, so let's inject Hopium directly into our veins and see, okay, so, uh, cubic, if we get back to four zeros and four zeros, one, two, um, versus what's the, uh, you know, what's the multiplier there? So, uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, divided by one, two, three, four, five, three, one, two, two. That's only four X. Um, so it, I mean, maybe there's something to be said about how it hasn't had its moonshot yet. Cause it came out in February and we certainly haven't seen an altcoin season yet. Price has been going down, down, down. Uh, but the volume's picking up. Like if you, oh, you can't see that. So, you know, starting about here with this rise, the volume stayed pretty high. So there's people trafficking in it, but the price is slowly going down. So maybe that's just people dumping, um, but it's not dumping significantly enough commensurate with the volume. I don't know how to read charts. I don't know why you're listening to what I'm saying. I'm gonna stay on Cubic uh, with the three C with the two CPU monitors. The 15900 um, was having some trouble getting it up, but I'll probably try to get that up this week, and that's what we'll do. So we'll do that, and we've got a brand new horsey entering the stables this week. Very excited about that. So we'll probably do some content on that moving forward, but otherwise, that's what we're doing for the week. All right, so let's pick a winner for last week's mining switch up video. If you want to win one of those stands, all you got to do is comment in this video, and I'm going to give you some criteria this time to make sure that you're paying attention uh, and not just commenting and, and running away from the video. All you got to do is comment in the video with and sneak a number into your phrase somehow, because if you make that comment and other people see that you're just putting numbers in, they're going to do that too. You want to eliminate other people winning. So sneak it in, like say, hey, I was watching the video and have a three great day or you know something like that. Uh, also, you gotta be in the United States. Sorry, sorry world. All right, so no tomfoolery. Let's fetch the comments. No replies. 52 comments, it's usually about right. Congratulations, PJ Dunk, 1956. Hope that's not your birth year. What are you doing here? USA, thank you for the weekly update. I move my CPUs over to more speculative currently in hopes the ones that will take off not really make much otherwise. <laughs> well, you're making something by watching the technicals on YouTube, friend. Uh, just send me an email. My email's in the description below. Let me know what you want the stand to, stay, stand to say and what color and your shipping detail, and I'll send it right out to you. Appreciate everybody watching. I'm the technicals. See you next time. <laughs>